Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Swanna Man's Biology. So today, let us draw the respiratory system. So first, I am drawing the outline. So, I am drawing the outline and extending the outline even downwards. So, I am extending the outline downwards. So, this is the external nostril. So, external nostril, which we are calling it as nose, will be leading into the internal nostril. And internal nostril will be opening into what is called as pharynx. Here, in the respiratory system, pharynx will be opening into what is called as trachea. If you observe, the pharynx will be leading into the esophagus in the case of digestive system. And here, we can observe a small leaf-like structure which is called as epiglottis which separates the opening of the esophagus from the trachea. So, the function of the epiglottis is, it prevents the entry of the food which is taken into the trachea and prevents the entry of the air into the esophagus. If the air enters into the esophagus during the taking of the food, it causes shocking. And even if the food enters into the trachea, it causes shocking. So, epiglottis prevents that, means entry of the air into the esophagus and entry of the food into the trachea. So, we have observed here, the pharynx is leading into the trachea and the trachea is divided into bronchi. And each bronchi will be entering into a pair of lungs. We know a pair of lungs are present in the thoracic cavity and which are surrounded by what are called as pleural membranes. So, I am drawing a pair of lungs here. Which are surrounded by pleural membrane. And I am extending the outline downwards to look it neat and now I will draw the diaphragm ok so diaphragm is a dome like structure which is present in the lower part of the thoracic cavity and movement of the diaphragm helps in the inspiration and expiration when the diaphragm moves upwards, it decreases the volume in the thoracic cavity. It increases the air pressure in the lungs which causes the CO2 present in the lungs to go outside. When the dome of the diaphragm is pushed downwards, then what happens? The thoracic cavity, the, means the volume in the thoracic cavity increases, decreasing the pressure of the air in the lungs, helping the air that is oxygen to, take in, to be taken inside the lungs. Okay. Here, I am drawing the bronchioles. Means from each bronchi will be divided into bronchioles. And bronchioles will be ending in what is called as alveoli. Okay. So, the alveoli are the structures which increases the surface area of the lungs. Which helps in the um, inspiration. So, I am drawing the alveoli and even I will be drawing the bronchioles alveoli means these are like balloon like bags lungs are the balloon like bags which helps in the filling the uh, filling the air so I am drawing the alveoli okay after that after completing the outline, color it or darken it to which helps your diagram to look more neater and brighter. And now I am even drawing the tracheal rings. These tracheal rings prevents the trachea from collapse. Means it helps the trachea to be always open. Now I am even draw, means darkening the tracheal rings. So, this colouring and darkening, it is your wish, which helps your diagram to look more neater. It gives extra marks. Okay. So, by now, we have completed the respiratory system. So, we know the air which is taken in passes from the external nostrils to the internal nostrils and enter into the trachea. And from the trachea, it enters into the bronchi, then bronchioles and enters into the lungs. So, even the CO2 which is given out is pushed outside 
from the trachea to the external nostrils to outside so after darkening it and after coloring it just label the diagram so we know all the parts to label external nostrils internal nostrils pharynx trachea tracheal rings and a pair of lungs pleural membrane bronchi bronchioles alveoli and diaphragm okay and uh, darken the diagram how much you need and make your diagram more neater okay see how i am darkening them all the parts so that each part will be appearing more neater and more darker so after uh, darkening it just label the parts okay so we will label the parts we know all the labels hope you like this video if you like give a like share and subscribe my channel swarna mams biology thank you